wonderful Colorado spring morning. We appreciate the moisture. At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce to you the president of our school board, Mrs. Jeanette Lewis, who will uh, begin the ceremony. So thank you, and Mrs. Lewis. Thank you, Dr. Lang, and welcome to everyone this morning. I'd like to first introduce our Adam City High School color guard who will present the colors. We ask you to stand and please remain standing for the Adam City High School choir singing the national anthem. I'm sorry, middle school. ROTC members and thank you Adam City Middle School although I try to make you high schoolers thank you for being here with us today again welcome this is an exciting day it's been a long time coming this morning turned out a little bit dreary but the clouds have parted and the Sun is beginning to shine and it's shining on this new beautiful building this is like a soaring eagle in the sky Every day that you go by, it just seems to come out of the ground more. This is something that this community has wanted for a long time. And there is a saying that says it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a village to pass up a school bond issue. And we did. And we can't thank the citizens of Commerce City and Adams County School District 14 for having faith in us and supporting us and giving us this wonderful, wonderful learning center for our students to enjoy for many years to come. Again, I wanna thank you for coming today, for supporting our students. And in a year and a half, we're gonna be back and we're gonna open the doors and we're gonna start teaching again. Thank you. Hello again. At this time, I'd uh, like to ask our board members who are here present, Mr. Uh, president, Mr. Vash, our vice president, and Mr. Larry Quintana, and I'm not sure if any other board members are here. Mr. Bill Clocker is unfortunately very ill and cannot be here. Uh, if you'd like to come up and make some uh, welcoming comments, please. I just want to thank everybody for coming out today and especially thank the voters of Adams County School District 14 for passing the bond issue. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you and thanks for coming today. 
again, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I have a special thanks to the, to not only to all of the citizens of Adams 14, but to the senior citizens of Adams 14, because in my heart of hearts, I believe they made the greatest sacrifice for, because it is they who have given up that, that, uh, uh, that, uh, the money they needed for their prescription or maybe uh, to help pay their utilities or whatever it was so that the future could have this structure. And I have a special just love for those seniors that stood out and, and voted for our young people. Thank you. Well, this is exciting. I, uh just thinking back not too long ago we were doing the groundbreaking about where the front door of the building is on the other side and uh, of course that morning when we uh, came we had a whole prairie dog colony that had moved in uh, in the past couple of days and uh, how interesting it was to get those off the site before we in a very humane way by the way to to start this project but this project is really a community joint effort and part of that partnership was with the city of Commerce City and the uh, city council mayor and the, all the uh, citizens of the community. But the city, in their wisdom in developing this property, set aside a school site, 55 acres, that we're standing and sitting on as we speak. And without that partnership with the city, we would not have this property available for the construction uh, that is taking place today. And so at this time, I would like to uh, introduce uh, the mayor of our city, uh, Mayor Paul Natal, who would uh, like to make some comments about that partnership and the future of this city. Mr. Natal. 